Hey there, kids. Uh, more graphing. Check it out. Need All one right. of these again. Yep. So now we've got this thing called damped oscillation, and this has to. This is a very real thing. Um, like we're talking about this in my math modeling class of like. Uh, all kinds of springs and stuff. So this is something that if you go further in your math career, you might see. We're going to take it pretty simply. So don't freak out just because I said we talked about it in a math class I'm in. Um, but damped oscillation, normal oscillation, you know, is a sine curve. Yeah, just like a sine curve. Just like a sine curve. But exactly damped oscillation like sine. means like, like we've got this kind of situation and oh, we're it's getting squeezed. damping our oscillation. It's getting squeezed. Exactly what Hazelwood said. It's getting squeezed in some way. It can either get squeezed as x approaches infinity or as it approaches negative infinity, or it could get squeezed as you get closer to zero. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the middle of a graph could get squeezed. So we need to um, graph. And so if we graph 2 to the negative x, that's a negative right there, the times x. sine of 4x. If you graph that on your calculator, this is going to be in parentheses, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And you get kind of a crazy looking graph, and this does have damped oscillation, so we'd say yes, it's damped. And if it is damped, we have to say what the damping factor is, and that's just going to be whatever's in front of our trig right. function, whatever that multiplication situation is. So the damping factor is 2 to the negative x, and then we need to say where the damping occurs. And if you look at your graph, it actually looks very similar, well, not very similar, but kind of like kind the of graph like that I drew. And this is a situation also where you where you might want to say it's getting dam it's damping factors that get close to zero, which is kind of true but not correct. Um, it is because it, it goes past zero. Yeah, past zero, it gets even thinner yeah. as you're going. So as you close in on positive infinity. Yeah, as you get closer and closer to positive infinity. So on this one, we could talk about in behavior where bef on the right side, where before with sine curves, we really haven't been able right. to. Right, there's no in behavior. But right as you're going to, to the right towards positive infinity, you're getting closer and closer to zero. That's correct. So uh, let's graph 3 cosine okay, 2x. let's do it. Now you may already have an idea. If, you're, if you want to do a little thought real quick, 3 cosine 2x... Um, we actually should kind of know what that looks like without having to graph. You, one would hope at this point in time you yeah. would know what that looks like. Oh, oh a, look, that's hey, a normal cosine curve. Wow, that's crazy. Which, I don't see any damping no at all. No squeezing, so it is not damped. And then we don't have to write anything else. It's just not damped because that's a normal cosine curve. Let's try negative 2x cosine 2x. Let's do it. Negative two x cosine two x. Roger. Ah ha! That's a fun looking one. This is a fun looking one. Didn't we do one almost kind of like this earlier? In yeah, this lesson? it was similar. So if you look on the outside of our graph, uh, it's really really high and really low, bouncing back and forth. But as you get closer to zero, the graph gets closer to zero. And this this is the difference between a damping situation which happens at infinity and one which happens at zero. Notice the very middle of this graph is squeezed at zero but expands as you move left and right. And so right. this is where you have a damping at zero not at infinity. Now the fun thing with all of these graphs if there's a damping factor yeah if you if you graph what that damping factor is, a positive and a negative version of that, yeah. it actually forms the border for this graph. So you're saying like if, and what if we like did that with this one, if we graphed uh, negative 2x. Mm -hmm. Graph negative 2x and graph positive 2x. Oh, and then yeah. positive 2x. Bang. It makes it makes like a in in this case it make it's making a like an X and then you can see the the thing spreading out. So in this case, this one would have had lines going like this ish. Right. You know that kind of situation that would have been our damping factor. And it just turns out it's whatever is in front of our trig function. I so think that's kind of pretty fun. pretty fantastic. Pretty, pretty fantastic indeed. Have a great four point six.